I went to Calais as uh, part of the Refugee Solidarity Bristol group with around 20 other people. Um, I went just for a few days to volunteer some of my time to work in the Low Verge Day Migrants Warehouse which is responsible for distributing um, clothing and food to people stuck in the camps. Um, for the majority of people there it's what they rely on so it's how they get by every single day. So I was volunteering with Alice, um, who set up the healing centre, which is an amazing space in the middle of the jungle, which is very warm um, and providing a place of safety and love, and also healing for families and people, anyone at the living in the jungle. So bodies a bit, doing some stretching, some yoga, some circus, and just helping out in whatever it was, fixing a roof, getting someone gas, um, listening to some people's stories and just understanding the situation a bit more. I think that bulldozing people's uh, properties and shops and cafes is uh, stripping a lot of people of the small amount of independence and dignity that they still have. Um, my name is Alison. Um, originally I went out to Calais because I made donations when, of clothes when they were being collected um, and I heard that the big problem was that so many clothes have been collected and there wasn't anyone sorting them and, donate, and actually distributing them in Calais. So the first time I went um, I took a team of my colleagues and we, we went um, for five days and did distributions of um, clothing. Um, and then I got obsessed about Calais. My dissertation is about the network of networks of volunteers. Um, essentially it's a social movement, a leaderless social movement um, of, of volunteers who are running a refugee camp. As far as I know, that's unique in the world, and um, that's what I'm going to be writing my dissertation on. Sure. I mean, they're offering this sort of uh, prison-style complex made of porter cabins, which looks absolutely ghastly and is inadequate in terms of size and numbers. There's the area with the blue tents, which are not doing very well. Um, but basically, obviously, the aim is to push the majority of the, the refugees out of that camp and disperse them around the rest of France. Uh, I am absolutely shocked. So much hard work has gone to that camp to help people. Such good-hearted outpourings of hard work. First I was helping in the warehouse, um, sorting all the clothes. And then I moved on to the, wor the workshop where I was helping build uh, prefabricated huts for the refugees. And then after that I went out on site to do maintenance. So I was going around, repair, like if people had a leaking roof, I was putting new tarpaul in on their roof or fixing locks. And all the refugees were really wonderful because every time you fix anything for them, they wanted to pay you, so they invited you in for a cup of tea or food or gave you some sweets. They were just really generous. And I know people are saying, you know, these people shouldn't be in our country, but we're voting in politicians that are starting wars that mean that they have to flee their country. Country. So I think that everybody has a right to seek asylum and that we really need to stand up to unjust politicians who are preventing these people and splitting up families and, and you know